So, how many of you have read the LT case? One, two, three, four, about half of you. So, you know, the first thing might, that might be useful to think about if you're teaching cases is to say, how do you get students to uh, read the cases? Yeah. Okay, to assign. Because uh, left to their own devices, the response is the same as I want here, or So for my MBA classes, what I tend to do is uh, I uh, have a Qualtrics, uh, I have an online questionnaire where I ask them to make, to make the decisions that the case requires. So for example, what in this case, the uh, key decision is what should you know, the new product launch for 2006 look like and why. Right? And so the why question uh, we discussed in class, but I forced them to take a position in, uh, in the uh, uh, before class. And so uh, uh, essentially I'll tell them that by 7 o'clock in the morning on the day of the class, the decision has to be submitted. It's a minute any time before that because it's there from the day the course began. Uh, but by 7 a.m. it closes. And they get um, marks for just submitting the decision. So I don't care whether it's good, bad, ugly, but it forces them to take a position. And because I know who took which position, and when I know somebody's taken an absurd position, of course I go for that person to say, well, you know, Niraj, you said LG should introduce a time machine. Tell me about, tell me about that. How are they going to do it? And, you know, then you can, so they know that they will be on the spot if they don't read the case, uh, submit it, the answer, and then are in a position to be able to defend uh, their position. Uh, if you teach uh, executive audiences, you can't do that. And so there, typically, you will, uh, what I, I will do and what most of my colleagues do is to give them some time during the class put them out of groups to think about uh, what the decision should be. Okay, so, so one key thing to think about when teaching the case is uh, how are we going to make sure that the student has actually 